This is the uh, very brief uh, review for my finger picking module. And this just uh, shows a couple of the patterns that uh, we used in the class uh, to go along with some of the tunes. And the goal is to employ finger picking patterns and some of the most useful and kind of typical ones uh, with some simple songs, two chord songs, three chord songs, as a doorway to becoming more proficient at finger picking, uh, only later being able to add instrumental uh, pieces and uh, a little more challenging stuff. But uh, by establishing these patterns as a part of your regular practice, it uh, helps you uh, use them in a manner that could uh, serve as a basis for accompanying songs or um, as you sing. So the first uh, pattern that is very, very prominent and one of my favorite is an inside-outside pattern. And um, I'm going to use a, a C, uh, C chord. And so I'm, I'm plucking the open C, the open E, inside, and then my thumb grabs the uh, G string. Finally, I pluck um, the C note there on the A string. And one way to think of this, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. And if you get that in your head, no matter what chord you play, it's the same exact pattern. So if I go C, F, G7, the pattern remains the same. Remember, inside, outside, inside, outside. Now, the opposite of inside, outside, and just as useful as outside, inside. And that's where we play the two outer strings followed by the two inner strings. So it'd be G string, A string, C string, E string. So we get in our <laughs> outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. And again, no matter what chord progression you play, that pattern remains the same. And this is very useful once you've uh, done, done it enough times repetitively. It just kind of becomes second nature. It's muscle memory, and you can play these patterns with any type of chord progression. Um, for initial considerations is playing it slow and uh, medium tempo but practicing these patterns in a manner that i often teach with just about everything and that's a little train that could so get yourself to play these super slow but also challenge yourself to uh, speed them up so that if you want to finger pick with a song that is a little bit faster you're capable of doing that and so going back to an inside outside for example you'd start out And this is a think I can part of Little Train That Could. There's a I know I can. So again, real slow at first. And then challenge yourself to gradually get fast. Okay, same thing with outside inside. You know, you could do this with no chord at all. Actually, it'd be a C6.
again, if you play any chord progression, C, F, G, 7th. two most useful um, patterns that I can think of. Uh, we also talked about doing uh, what's called a pinch stroke and we use Down in the Valley which is just a two chord song and uh, to do that we, we just kind of practice doing this. The pinch is, is where you're plucking two strings at once so in this case I'd be using my middle finger and my thumb and I'd be plucking the G string and the A string while fingering a G chord. This is teaching us to pluck two strings at once, which is very common, and not just with a three-quarter time tune like this. Now again, if you keep this pattern going, no matter what chords you play, the pattern is going to remain the same. So if I go to a D7, Once these patterns feel comfortable, then you can try, you know, adding some singing along with changing the chords. And this is, this is better than crossword puzzles for your brain. So that's a pinch. And again, no matter what chord you play, it remains the same. If I was to play an F chord, I'd, I'd still keep the two outer strings followed by the two inner. There's an F chord. There's my dog's barking. <laughs> So that's kind of the idea there with the pinch. And um, and then there's things like just really focusing on the thumb alternating. So you get plucking the two inner strings. And that's just concentrating on alternating that thumb. So that was another um, exercise that we that we did. Um, um, just peeking here in my packet and um, uh, Sugar Babe, the traditional blues tune. You know, we worked on uh, inside outside accompanying that to the F chord, G seventh or G. Sugar Babe, what's wrong with you? Ain't you darling love the way you do, sugar babe, it's all over now. So I'm doing inside outside on C. I'm doing inside outside on F. And then on G or G seventh, inside outside, back to C. So we get uh, C, F, C, G, C when you actually start to put it uh, with a song. And this is the concept, this is the idea. Pattern picking for finger picking proficiency. Sugar babe, what's wrong with you? Ain't you done all the way you do? Sugar babe, it's all over now. All I want my babe to do 
bake ten dollars and give me two sugar babe it's all over now can slow it down a lot more when you're just getting used to this sugar babe what's wrong with you ain't you darling all the way you do sugar babe it's all over now okay but first you want to just really do a lot of okay something to think about um then we talked about arpeggios and we use tunes like uh, tis a gift to be simple um, and this is where every finger is assigned to a string the pima approach um, i'm not a huge advocate for adhering to to that but when playing broken chords and arpeggios is really nice when one finger plays every string um, I tend to kind of do a hybrid of this kind of stuff on my own using two or three fingers. Um, but the traditionalists, uh, for example, playing an F chord in a C7 might do something like. So every finger but the pinky is being used. C7. F and that's great for accompanying the voice or comp accompanying others Okay, and that again uh, in the module we use that with "Tis a Gift to Be Simple" um, when we were practicing in the class, and um, and that's all for uh, what I'm going to share with this module. Okay, there's other things uh, in the class that uh, are um, a part of the class itself, but I can't share uh, for copyright reasons. Okay, thank you so much.